you ever tried to make a character before and everything started out great, but you then tried to make some clothes for the character and the whole thing just fell apart? To the point where your want human character now looks like a bunny trying to wear a cocktail dress? Well, me neither actually, but clothing characters can be quite difficult and often takes years to practice. However, this piece of software, Marvelous Designer, can help with clothing your characters realistically with a lot of ease. Now, this is not an advert for Marvelous Designer because that won't be helpful at all. This is a video to explain my thoughts on my experience with the product. So as someone who loves game development, you know, I love the 3D art and the coding side, 3D has obviously always been something that interests me, and I've been doing it for quite a while now. Um, I've been doing it for a few years, however, in the beginning, one or two years, I didn't really do much with it, but for about a year, maybe just over a year, I've been seriously cracking down and learning and getting better. So, because of that, I've been investing a lot of time, effort, and money into 3D modeling. So, and that includes sculpting, and so I've been purchasing relevant software such as ZBrush. I have the Substance Designer slash Painter Indie Live bundle, and Topo Gun. Now, obviously, my 3D application of choice is Blender, because it's free, and I can do everything I need to do with that. And I don't see the point in going through anything like Maya. So, my Blender can do everything these programs can, and more, and I'll explain personally why I've bought proprietary software for these stages in another video, but for now I'm bringing this up because I have experience in the development stages, so believe me when I say, sculpting clothes sucks. And yes, I know like any form of art with enough time, references, and just overall practice, I could learn to create great clothing and characters, etc. But honestly, I've tried that and sometimes I could spend so many hours on creating a t-shirt that in the end, it looked terrible. It just wasn't fun. And as an artist, I, cre I love creating artwork, but I don't enjoy it. But if I don't enjoy it, why would I carry on? It's a long story short, let's get that out of the way. This led me to find out and try Marvelous Designer for two weeks. They have a two week trial, I'll put a link in the description below, go try it out. Uh, make sure you have quite a high-end piece of kit, make sure you have a high-end computer because it does use resources a lot, it's a simulation. Uh, honestly, it's a fantastic piece of software. At heart, it is just a cloth simulation. So, in Marvelous Designer, how it works is you trace out the pattern of the clothing you want and you stitch it all together to create the final piece. So a t-shirt would generally have um, four pieces, you know, the front, the back and the two sleeves as well as the collars and bands and all that, but we won't include them in that sort of overall count. If we did, it would be eight. Okay. So from here, we would tell Marvelous Designer where to stitch these garments together, and the software would run a class simulation, joining these parts and ultimately creating a realistic looking t-shirt in a fraction of the time it would take to sculpt one, and to simulate one in another piece of software. From here we can adjust material settings and pull in real time at the newly created garment to create new wrinkle shapes and can, we can even use pins, tacks and more to hold pieces together whilst we try to create new shapes and folds. The now created piece of clothing can then be exported along with an animation which I'll get into in just a moment to a couple of popular 3D file formats such as FBX and OBJ and that can then be taken to applications like ZBrush, Topo Gun, Blender, etc. for touching up, texturing, retopologizing, animating, and more. So a recent update in Marvelous Designer has also recently allowed for quad topology, which is great, but as I've noticed, on exporting you can see that the topology is really not clean at all. And this isn't too much of an issue because obviously the high amount of polys that you're exporting with this piece of software, you'd have to read to apologize it anyway, but it's just a shame kind of how bad it can be. Take a look at this screenshot here. This is a garment made in Marvelous Designer and exported to Blender. It's not particularly great. Now again, it's not really an issue as you would need to read to apologize it anyway, but for someone who might actually just take that garment and put it into something like Daz 3D or just animate with it, it is a bit unfortunate. There are two types of licenses available for the software. 
there's the personal and there's the enterprise. Now there are different tiers of the enterprise but I'm just going to split them into personal and enterprise. The personal license is quite costly, it's about $550, well no, it's exactly $550, which actually is quite a lot for a piece of software that has one purpose, which is a cloth simulation. But honestly, if clothing characters is a large part of your job, or your hobby, then you'd probably want to prefer to be able to create credible cloth in just a matter of minutes, and so I would recommend it for that. The software allows you to use points to create easy garments in the shapes you make for those particular patterns are the UV layouts. Like I was saying before, the points you make on the 2D screen, that is now their UV coordinates as well. These create great UV layouts. However, like I said, as you'd have to retopologize it, those UVs kind of become redundant. So it's a give and take situation there. However, something the software does really well, for when you're wanting to just learn it, is it comes with a different amount of pre-made avatars of different ages and sexes, and on top of that, the avatars that it comes with also have pre-made poses and animations. So they start in the A pose. I don't think any of them start in the T pose, I think it's just the A pose. And then you can load one of their poses or animations and you can do a catwalk walk to show off the clothing. Or you can have a simple still pose, some on the hips, some slightly angled, sort of like you'd see in the fashion magazines, which are really good as well. Uh, you can also import your own animations and custom avatars into Marvelous Designer, and then render the cloth animation in Marvelous Designer, and export it back to your 3D application. Because Marvelous Designer is just a 3D simulation software, its simulation for cloth is so much faster than your generic 3D applications. So you can import the animations, render it, then export the cloth and the cloth animation to your 3D software. And now in a fraction of the time it would have taken in something like Maya or Blender, you now have this animated piece of clothing that fits your character really well. I have noticed um, Maya's end cloth, which I'm not really using personally, does sort of do the same where you stitch garments together. However, obviously, if you're already using Maya, then that's fine, you know. But if you were using something like Blender or Cinema 4D or something, then you don't want to pay around $1,500 or $40 a month for Maya when you could just get Marvelous Design as a one-off payment for your personal license for $550. Now the personal license, you can check all the terms and conditions of the licenses on the website, but basically you can use it for freelance and your own projects, but if you wanted to do something as a company, then you can't. So if you wanted to like make a game, for example, and solely undo sold it under your company's name interactive or whatever you may have to double check with them if you can do that if it's just you in that company you probably would be able to but just send them an email as i've heard they're quite easy and quite fast on replying what their licenses actually entail so to summarize the pros of this piece of software is it's amazingly easy to create credible cloth and animations for that cloth very easy very quick and the pattern creator in itself is simple and easy to use by just clicking points in the shape of a t-shirt, curving them, mirroring them, having symmetric, which is like just a mirror modifier, very easy to use. And it can be used in any 3D software because it exports in those popular file formats as explained before, FBX and OBJ. And I think there's some more, I think there's uh, a Maya and maybe a 3D's Max one but I'm not too checked on them because I don't use those pieces of software. Uh, it's also becoming a major tool in the industry. If you check their case studies page, then you'll see that a lot of companies are beginning to use them in a lot of their games. Some of the most notable ones are Metal Gear Solid 5, Assassin's Creed Unity. Uh, I believe it was also used in many other games. It was used in The Hobbit. So it's becoming a major tool to be used in the industry, so it's not something to be taken lightly. And obviously the creation process is significantly reduced in terms of time. 
creating the cloves is so much easier, animating the cloves is so much faster. Uh, you can just import your own character. You don't have to sculpt anything. You can take the things into ZBrush and add some wrinkles and obviously all the other details you'll still need to add. However, you can just create the base mesh. You can even add all the buttons and that in the actual animation and attach them to the cloth and then it will simulate that as well. So it's becoming very well used and it is very dynamic. But the cons of it are that the price is rather high. $550 for a singular purpose application is rather a lot. To put that into perspective, Maya, which has sculpting, simulation, modeling, blah 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 blah, is about $1,500, which is, yes, $1,000 more, but it does offer a lot more. And ZBrush is $750, and that offers all the sculpting on top of texturing and painting, you can do Z modeling now, rendering. So ZBrush is very is a single purpose application, which is sculpting, but it has all these other features built onto it, which it does very well. Uh, there's very few tutorials on this piece of software as lot as well as I've noticed. I've used digital tutors in the past, and I currently have a subscription to Linda. Co I currently have a subscription to Linda.com. And I think there's one tutorial on Marvelous Designer, and it's using it in terms of with Maya as well. So, for the most part, it's not really useful. And from what I've heard is there are full price upgrades. Now, I can't comment on that because obviously there's not been a massive upgrade since I purchased it. I've only purchased it rather recently in the past few days, so I'd only be able to comment on that when Marvelous Designer 6 comes out. But from what I've heard is... It's full price upgrades. Would I recommend the product? Yes, definitely. In fact, I, like I said, just purchased the software and I can't wait to use it and get higher quality results for my art, for my characters, for my development, and all that thanks to this piece of software. Another pro that I've just thought of actually, and I didn't have written down, is that it supports 64 bit, which might sound silly. ZBrush only just started supporting 64-bit hardware recently, and a lot of games don't even support 64-bit hardware. So the fact that this software does is great, especially for simulations, meaning it's very unlikely to crash. Okay, so again, there's a trial down below. Click it, try it out for two weeks, and I don't think you'll be disappointed. You might think the cost is a bit much, that's fair, but I think you'd overall be quite impressed with the piece of software. So I hope you enjoyed this video on what Marvelous Designer is. I'm going to be doing some tutorials on it myself because, like I said, there's a lack of them. There's like one major channel on YouTube that I've noticed, and that's about it. So I'm going to be doing that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs down. If your opinions are otherwise, you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or advice, leave it down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97. I'm also making a Facebook page, which you'll be able to like soon once it's all up and running. And if you want to see more from me, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.